Got a new book out, Confessions of an Heiress, a tongue-in-cheek peek behind the pose. Please welcome Paris Hilton. <laughs> That's right, it's really me. <laughs> it's a big thrill for you. Uh, thanks for being here on the show. Welcome yeah, to the program. You look great. fantastic. Thank you. You look beautiful. Um, you never, I've, you never, and you've, you've said this in interviews and in your book, you never wear the same outfit twice. Is that true? Well, I'll wear like the same jeans twice, but not like the same dress. So I'll once be you're done it. with this dress, what happens to it? I'll give it to charity or to one of my girlfriends. Right. Could I have that dress, please? Yes. I'd like to wear it around tonight in my apartment. So, so you wear an outfit. That's what I do. Don't judge me. So you wear an outfit once, and then that's it. And it's so that you never are caught, like in a in a in a magazine. It, I've done that once, and they wrote in the magazine like Paris has one outfit. Right. And a I lot of like, us don't I have won't. a lot of outfits, you know. I've got three suits that I interchange on this show. That's hot. Yeah. You like this? Yeah. J C Penny. <laughs> It's made of aluminum. Uh, I think uh, many people thank you for, for helping uh, to start this trend of, of showing the midriff. Uh, it's very sexy. A lot of women now are showing their midriff. I think you help popularize this trend. You say in your book, everybody should show their midriff. Do you really mean everybody? Um, Do you really want to see my midriff? Yes. No, you don't. <laughs> that, no, that's... No, you don't. Now, in the, uh, in the industry, we call that pity applause. Uh, <laughs> but do you really mean everybody? I mean, what if guys started walking around with their midriffs no, showing? That would look so lame. Yeah, that would be, look horrible. And, then, <laughs> and they'd be walking like this. I don't know why I'm walking like this in this scenario. Uh, your book begins with rules, all right? You have rules in your book. One is have a great name. If you don't like your name or it's not a great name, you're, you're suggesting people should change, change it. it. Yeah. Really? Yeah. What do you think of Conan? <laughs> be honest. I can take it. It's kind of lame. It's lame. <laughs> I can... Hey, wait a minute. Listen, I asked. She's telling Sorry. me she thinks it's lame. So, Paris, um, no. <laughs> <laughs> what would be a good name for me? London. London? <laughs> yeah. Well, there's a tunnel between London and Paris now. <laughs> What about like Dex or Blaze? What if my name was Blaze? No. Come on, hey Blaze, it's Blaze. Let's go out on the town. No, I think London. How about Chip? Um, I'm Chip, how are you? You don't like Chip? No, it doesn't work. Bosco, Rex, Dexter. Brooklyn. Brooklyn? <laughs> yeah. Brooklyn? How about Williamsburg? What if I'm Williamsburg? No. All right. It's two names, it's a Jewish name, Williamsburg. All right, now. You say in your book, always have a tan. Yeah. It looks uh, like that you travel all the time then. Well, I it can't get a tan. I cannot have a tan. You can do the spray on. The spray on? Mystic. So, and um, what, it's, I mean, that would cover in all the freckles and I would uh, look like <laughs> <Yeah>. Fernando Lamas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With a Bob's Big Boy haircut. Uh, you say, act ditzy, lose things. That's advice that you're giving people. Act ditzy, <laughs> lose things. Why? Because it's cute. <laughs> it's cute? It's not always cute when you act, when, when, when an airplane pilot acts Dixie, it's not fun. I know, I'm saying... I think it works for specific people, yeah. maybe. It's kind of cute when certain people do it, but when a brain surgeon's like, I don't know what I'm doing, it's, it's bad. Bad news. You say, if you're happy, wear pink. Seriously? Yes. Even for men. If, if um, a guy's... I'm disappointed you didn't wear pink and you knew I was coming on the show. Well, how do you know I'm happy? Uh... <laughs> I could be very afraid that you're coming on the show. No, I'm wearing blue to bring out my... Isn't it nice with my, my yes, eyes? Yes, yes. Okay, I forced you to say that. Well, um, all these rules, I'm not serious. It's, it's like... Right, it's, it's just kind of spoof. goofing this around. This whole book is like a joke. It's just like right. a spoof on my life, and right. it's funny. Sure. And I'm joking around. I know a lot of people can't follow these rules. Right, right. All right, let me ask you some other things. Because <laughs> one of the rules is be born into the right family. <laughs> That's a hard one. So you you can pretend you are. Yeah. I'm the heir to the O'Brien fortune. Exactly. You already have it. That's one motel chain you do not want to visit. Uh, <laughs> all right. Um, 
You have so many, you've become an industry for all these different products now. So many that I'm wondering if you're even fully aware of all the products that are out there right now that you're associated with. Do you mind if I read you a list and you tell yeah. me if this is one of your products or not? Yes. Okay, most of these are real and I've put a few that aren't real just in case. All right. Yours. Costume jewelry. Yes. You can, okay. Makeup. Yes. Perfume. Yes. Insect repellent. No. <laughs> Music CDs. Yes. Maple syrup. No. Sweatsuits. Yeah. Wow. Shoes. Yes. Artificial heart valve. No. <laughs> A pink artificial heart valve would yes. be so cute. <laughs> All right, let's talk about your dog. I almost thought you would bring the dog here on the show because when I see you everywhere, you're holding your dog Tinkerbell. She's in Paris shopping. <laughs> really. Doing a uh, photo shoot. Well, you joke, but, but Tinkerbell, you have clothes for Tinkerbell, yeah. is that right? Tinkerbell wears shoes. Yes, she does. Tell us about these shoes. Does she, Tinkerbell like the shoes? She loves them. She like tap dances when I put them on. How, how do you know she's not struggling to get out of them? <laughs> because she's smiling. <laughs> but it looks like tap dancing to you could be, oh God! <laughs> these monsters are eating my feet. <laughs> for dogs, they like them. And, and, and what kind of, and their clothes for Tinkerbell, what kind of clothes? Everything, she has dresses, shorts, swimsuits, robes. Shorts, how about, okay, <laughs> swimsuits? Yeah. Tuxedo? No, she's a girl. A girl can wear a tuxedo and it's hot. Not on her. Okay, I like how I'm yelling at you, what's hot? Um, and and, and you have, you, these custom made pet clothes, are they expensive? Yeah. All right, are you gonna market these? Um, we're doing a line called Paris and Tinkerbell. Okay, very nice, mm -hmm. very nice. And then my last question for you is, what do you see in the future, five years from now, Paris Hilton? Where do you wanna be, what do you wanna be doing? I wanna be married with like one kid. One kid, married? <laughs> Would you be living in the suburbs and driving around in a, in a Volvo station wagon and? No. I mean, you're gonna, you, cause you have this, you're living on the edge right now, you're partying, and to keep that lifestyle? No. When you're I'm 90 years it. old, you'd be going crazy and hanging no, off No, I don't really go out that much anymore, I'm too busy, I work too much. Oh, okay. If you ever wanna go out, I'm around. <laughs> 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 Don't tell the wife. <laughs> um, <laughs> do I like my hair? Do you think the hair is cool? Yeah. You want to touch it? It looks like a mohawk. It looks like a mohawk to you? This is not a mohawk. A cool one. Oh, thank a you. A preppy one. A preppy mohawk? Yeah. That's the weirdest description I've it's ever hot. heard. <laughs> I'm like the, uh, the preppy uh, Mr. T. Okay. Confessions of an heiress, a tongue-in-cheek peek behind the pose is in stores right now. Paris Hilton, thanks for being Thank here. Very you. nice to meet you. Good to have you on the show. Stuart Townsend coming up. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Stick around.